I'm out of LA for a week. I'm out here playing for kids. Yeah, yeah. I never play in them jeeps. Double lie back of the seat. Yeah. Hey yo, good morning, peeps. What's poppin', man? It's your boy back again with another vlog, man. Oh my god, I almost forgot how to speak there for a moment. Uh, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Hey, your boy is fully confident today because I got that fire haircut yesterday. You get what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed the last vlog. We're going to keep you going every single week, three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Saturday, sorry, my bad. Saturday, yes. Woke up to some really not good news, but obviously, like, bro, there's nothing literally I can do or a lot of people can do. Obviously, Ukraine and Russia are literally in war right now. And yeah, man, everything is looking very dangerous because obviously, you know, it's, it feels like World War, World War, World War Three is, is coming, and you know, a lot of countries are gonna get involved. A lot of people are gonna end up, you know, dying and all of that. So, bro, it's stressful, man. It's literally, it's literally stressful. So, we hope this stops soon. We hope this doesn't escalate. We hope, you know, bruh. They need to stop this, man. They need to stop this. We are in 21st century and there is no need for this. Literally, there's no need for this. But anyway, we're going to continue with the vlog. Uh, right now, I'm literally in my office. I have my breakfast over there, which is my uh, 1000 calorie pro, not protein shake, but yeah, we call it protein shake or protein breakfast or uh, some, something like that. You get what I mean? My, my breakfast. You get what I mean? My breakfast. That's, I call that my breakfast. My 1000 calorie breakfast. So yeah, your boy's gonna do some editing right now. The vlog from Tuesday, I'm gonna edit it right now, which today is Thursday. Well, so I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna post it today on Thursday, and then this vlog that you're watching right now is gonna be up on Saturday. Jesus, I need to stop talking. <laughs> but anyway, yo, um, make sure you guys give a like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get on with the vlog, man. Okay, so that's a uh, vlog edited already. So. It took me a while. I got some stuff done. It was really nice to like, you know, get back to, you know, all of this editing stuff. Like, I literally just love editing. To be like, if I was, if I was like more into editing stuff, I'll probably just become an editor. To be honest, because I just love editing. There's something about editing that gets me excited. You get what I mean? So right now, I'm gonna prepare my uh, pre-workout. Yes, actually, I'm gonna have my pre-workout right now because I'm on my way to the gym. Uh, today, I'm doing legs, arms. A little bit of back. I always do back when I go to the gym. I train my back at least four times a week. I always do back when I go to the gym because I have some back problems. So the more muscle I put on my back, the less my back will hurt. So that's why I train my back so much. But anyway, uh, yeah, uh, let's prepare that. Let's get stuff ready and then let's go to the gym. Anyway, as you guys can see by the title today, 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 I've been planning to do this video for a very long time and today it finally came today. So, this week, which is um, today, Saturday, yes. Oh no, I just fucked it up. <laughs> Watch my life. I ran out of ideas and um, this is literally a last minute video. <laughs> I'm sorry I lied. I'm sorry I lied, but I, I, went, I, went, I was planning to do something else, but it didn't come up, okay? I'm gonna be honest, don't hate me, okay? Please. So, I ran out of ideas. Today is Saturday and I have to post this video in at least one hour max so i'm gonna try and be as quick as i can and i need to edit as quick as i can so i can post this video so um as you guys can see by the time of this video today i'm gonna show you guys my uh, football shirt collection i'm a big fan of football i support many teams across the country portugal england spain italy uh france and also germany and obviously um you know international teams and national teams exactly so such as portugal portugal obviously portugal and cape verde are obviously my favorite because you know i came from portugal i was there for like four years and then i was born in cape verde i don't have a cape verde shirt yet but as soon as i go to cape verde or if i find a way to get a portuguese shirt or a cape verde shirt i will definitely add it to the collection so right here I don't know if you guys can see it. No, you can't. Ta da! <laughs> so, yeah, right here, as you guys can see, is my football shirt. There's some extra shirts on it, like, just like a Nike t shirt there, which is just like a random. I just wanted to fill the rail up, you get what I mean? So, I want to give a big shout out to Daniela, Dani, for hooking me up with this rail that she wasn't even using anymore. 
So I decided to get it myself and then put it over here so I can have a nice background for my stream. You get what I mean? So, um, yeah, as you guys can see here, all of them are, uh, you know, basically like team coded. They're not color coded, team coded basically. So there's all the football shirts that I have from one team until the last one basically. So I'm gonna start by showing you guys all of my Manchester United shirts. So I have this one, which is from uh, 20, uh, 20, 2020 exactly. Yeah, this was, yeah, 2020, yes, exactly. This was from 2020. Uh, it doesn't have a name in the back, but you know, I was planning to do it, but then, you know, yeah, it just, I don't know, it just didn't happen, you get what I mean? I have this one, which is from 2017, if I'm not mistaken. I think this was one of my first ones that I bought and they completely ruined because it used to have my name and a number, I think it was number 20 in the back, if I'm not mistaken, but after washing and washing and washing and washing, it all came off. And I'm so sorry, but it just, it literally just happened. I feel bad for it though, but I still use it. It's not, it's not, I, I use it to play football sometimes. So I have this one, which is one of my favorites. Actually, I think it's also from 2020 or 2019. I'm not sure. I think it's from 2020. This actually was a gift from one of my best friends. His name is Diogo, DD. You know what I'm saying? Thank you for the shirt, bro. I literally, I use this shirt all the time. At least, it's just a bit small because it's M. I, I guess he didn't know my size back then, but anyway. And I have this one, which was, I'd say, one of my greatest gifts ever for my birthday. One of the best gifts I've received on my birthday, which is uh, a main United shirt from this year, 2020, 2020, no, 2021, 2022. And also it has my name on the back with the number seven. You get what I mean? So obviously I wanted to get it before I was gifted on my birthday, but I was gifted and you know, it all came so it all came handy, you get what I mean? I absolutely love this shirt. I think this is one of the best Man United shirts to be honest. They just changed from you know Chevrolet. Everything else has Chevrolet on it, but then we changed for Team Viewer this year. So yeah, anyway, this is my a um Manchester United. Now to one of the most important, one of the most important, literally this team is close to my heart always every single time um i fell in love with real madrid because of my older brother actually my older brother always supports real madrid he's a big fan of cristiano ronaldo and yeah so uh i became a fan too and ever since i never went back obviously so i have this shirt which i got it in 2019 if i'm not mistaken this was one of the first shirts i bought when i came here if i'm not mistaken uh this was in 26 i think 2016 if I'm not mistaken, and then 2015, 2016, that's when we when we started to uh, win the the treble for the Champions League, the Champions League back to back to back, and I was super gassed back then. And this is my all time favorite until now. This is my all time favorite shirt of Real Madrid that I have. Um, you know the blue, that kind of like the blue and the like the, the the universe, you know thing that I just love about it. I just I didn't want just like an overall. Like a you know white tee, just like this one. I wanted to get something different this time, so that, so I decided to go with this one. And this is one of my favorites as well. I was gifted. I was gifted, and it has also. I put a, uh, it was gifted blank, but I put my name in the back, and also with number seven. So in every shirt, I try to change my name from not only Fabrizio and everything. I try to put F Spencer or I just put Fabrizio S. Or it, it it depends, and I try to get different numbers as well. But this one, that one was gifted, so. My favorite numbers are, def are like 7, 20, 10, 11, 9. So all of the extra shows that I have, I'm gonna try and put numbers on it, but obviously put different numbers. And yeah, that is my Real Madrid one. This is the only Benfica shirt that I have. Uh, I absolutely love it because it's black. I'm, I'm My favorite color is black, so I decided to get it too. And I absolutely love it. I decided I tried to get a lot of like Benfica shirts, but it's just so difficult to get in England. I have to go all the way to Portugal. And then when I get there, sometimes I literally just forget and then I come back up like, oh shit, I was supposed to get it. But anyway, I ordered this online on Pro Direct, if I'm not mistaken. So I managed to find it on Pro Direct. And then I literally, as soon as I saw it, I ordered it straight away. And this is definitely one of my favorite shirts. It also doesn't have a name in the back. I'm gonna have to put, I'm gonna have to put name on all of them. And yeah, man, this is this is absolutely like yeah, I love it, man. I just love it. The color and everything. But if you could normally also is red. I love red, but obviously you you know this is like a an away shirt, so we can't really use it. So that's why I got this one in black. Now to the next one, 
we have Juventus. This, when I saw this Juventus shirt, I was like, bro, if I don't buy this shirt, if I don't buy this shirt, I ain't buying nothing else. The color, the design, literally everything made me fall in love with it straight away. That I was like, bro, I'm gonna cop this 100%. So yeah, this is my Juventus shirt. And also, it doesn't have a name in the back. And uh, I'm gonna get one soon. I don't know which which number. I'm, I was thinking number 17. Also, 17 is one of my favorite numbers. So I was thinking about 17. So maybe I will get a 17 one. So this is my only Juventus one. And now we're going to the national teams. Exactly. I said that one. I had national teams one. So I decided to get my favorite Portuguese shirt of all time. I wanted to get a 2016, the one that we won the Euro with. Uh, with it, uh, like I wanted to get. The, the one that we won the arrow with exactly but i just let it slide i don't know why i didn't get it but you know what i regret it now because i wish i had it but the next best one came which is this one this is a replica it's not the original one because they didn't have the original one in stock so i decided to get a replica which is also cheaper come on and france one i got this one because of pogba pogba is one of my favorite players so i decided to get this one pogba and mbappe exactly so I decided to definitely get it, even though in 2016, as I was just talking about it now, uh, these two teams went against each other and Portugal ended up winning in 120 minutes of extra times. So it, it's, it's, it's just crazy. And I just love the design of the shirt as well. That's why I decided to get it. Other than that, guys, I think that was that's it. I don't think I have any more shirts. I wish I had more, to be honest. I wish I had like a whole room. My whole room was filled with football shirts, but obviously, you need to get them slowly, slowly, because they are actually not that cheap. You know, for example, just this one, for example, if I wanted to get it cost at least 70 pounds, like just for 70 pounds for one shirt, to be honest, it's a lot. But if you're a fanatic, I think that literally wouldn't, you know, wouldn't make much of a difference anyway. So yeah, so I, went, I remember when I went to Old Trafford, I got this for my wife, which is one of her favorite players, Bruno Fernandes. I got this for her, so you absolutely love it. And yeah, I kept it here because you know she's not gonna use it, but also I wanted to make like this rail and I decided to get this for her. But that is it. This is my uh football shirt collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Tell me in I have a lot of stuff. I have a toys. Um what else should what else should I have? I don't have anything else like as as like as like a collectible. Shorts? Huh? I'm not gonna show you my shorts collection. I don't think that makes a sense. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Hey, um, we got more videos coming out soon. So the next video you're going to watch is going to be my shoe collection, which I have over here. I'm going to be preparing it right now. As soon as I stop from recording this video, I'm going to go straight to do the shoe collection. I'm going to show you guys my shoe collection. It's an updated one because I think I did one before, but I couldn't. Um, but I, obviously, I didn't, ha I didn't update it because... You know, half of the shoes that I have now, I didn't have it back then. So, yeah, I have it over here now. So, I'm going to show you guys in the next video. So, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, man, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. And peace, man.